Hello everyone, this is chapter 2, playing with magnets, science subject, class 6. These are the keywords, these are the question and answers of chapter 2. These are the keywords, magnet, magnetic material, non-magnetic material, magnetic compass. What is a magnet? And if they ask, define magnet. An object which attracts magnetic materials like iron, cobalt and nickel is called a magnet. Magnetic material. Magnetic materials are materials which are attracted to an external magnetic field. These materials are strongly attracted by magnets. Most of the magnetic materials can be converted into permanent magnets by magnetization. Examples for magnetic materials include cobalt, nickel, iron and their metal alloys etc. This is known as magnetic materials and which do not, non-magnetic materials are materials that are not attracted to an external magnetic field. If you keep magnet and you keep all the paper, pencil, rubber, uh, wooden things, uh, it will not attract towards the magnet. So these are called as non-magnetic materials. This means non-magnetic materials are not attracted to a permanent magnet. These materials show no or slight response to a magnetic field. The examples of non-magnetic materials include rubber, plastic, stainless steel, feather, it composed of. The magnetic compass is composed of a small box with a glass top. The magnetic needle is placed on a pivot around, around which it can rotate freely. It can rotate. It won't touch uh, that um, box uh, down, uh, the, um, below or upward. It is free from. So it is... Uh, Located on a pivot. The casing, the casing or the box has a dual market with the direction on it. So it has a markation, north, south, east, and west marking. Now uh, to find the direction of the compass has to be kept on a flat surface or a table and the needle should be allowed to rest. Then rotate the compass so that the north-south direction on the dial is aligned with the ends of the needle. Usually, different colors are used to point the ends of the needle to identify the north and south poles. A magnet is a piece of metal with strong attraction to another metal object. Magnet may have a north pole and a south pole. If they ask you about north pole or south pole, you have to write like this. This uh, comes under uh, keywords north pole, south pole. So, it is a piece of metal with a strong attraction to another metal's object. It will attract another objects and magnet is also. Magnets have a north pole and a south pole. Opposite poles attract each other but two north poles will repel each other as well as two south poles. Unlike poles and like poles. Unlike poles attract, like poles repel. The north pole and the south pole of a bar magnet are located in its two ends. So each and every magnet, uh, how much pieces you may break into, it will uh, act, uh, it will have its north and south pole. What are like poles? Like poles repel each other, means uh, south south or north north poles. This means when the north pole of the magnet is brought near the north pole of another magnet, both repels each other. The same holds true for the south poles of two magnets. Unlike poles means south north not north south. Unlike poles attract each other. This means when the north pole of a magnet is brought near the south pole of another magnet, both attracts each other. What is repulsion? Repulsion is a sure test for magnetism because to identify whether the rod or material is an iron rod, a magnet repulsion is the only way. This is because a magnet attracts an iron object and unlike poles repel each other. Magnetic induction. What is magnetic induction? Magnetic property possessed by a magnetic substance due to the presence of a magnet near it is no is called as magnetic induction. Means list out the magnetic and non-magnetic materials in your classroom. So whatever present in your classroom, which are uh, are magnetic and non-magnetic. So in classroom, what are present? Iron chair, we on which uh, our teacher sits, and a steel scale which you use. Uh, in a geometry if you are using a steel scale and window rods are all made up of iron so it will attract towards the magnet so they are magnetic and non-magnetic materials like plastic box or your compass box 
wooden benches on which you sit, paper, books, eraser, duster, chalk, board, all these comes under non-magnetic, which is not attracted by the magnet. For which purpose do people use magnets in their daily life? Ask your family members and other elders and collect the information and prepare a list of uses of magnet. So let's see what is uh, uh, which type of material attract towards the magnet. So a body or a piece of iron or steel that possesses the property of attracting certain substances such as iron is known as magnet. Electromagnets are used for lifting heavy tree loads. Magnets are used in doors of refrigerators and freezers to keep closed the door. Magnets are used in making magnetic toys. Magnets also used in electrical bells. Magnets are used in magnetic compass. It is used in TV and computer screen also. Draw a magnet and locate the poles. You also you have to draw a magnet and you have to just locate the poles. North and south. So, uh, why they are pay, uh, placing here uh, north south? Because they will attract each other like this. And here you will just uh, take one more magnet. And here if you cut in the uh, up bar magnet too. Then again this uh, uh, first you if you, it is north pole and south pole. And if you are just cut the um, magnet into half then. This behaves like one magnet and this behaves like one bar magnet. So you have to write north, south and here north, south like that. Or uh, south, north like that. You have to uh, just write the NSSN. Think and say in which direction your house is facing. So you have to write uh, this uh, by taking a compass or a Magnetic needle, see in which uh, direction your house is facing and uh, in which direction you will sleep and eat. So, write those directions. Prepare a toy using magnet and write the procedure of preparation briefly. Preparation of a toy. How can you prepare? You can take a plastic uh, car, fix a magnet inside the car with using tape so that it, can, it won't fall down and hold the magnet on your hand. One more magnet in your hand and by moving your hand, you can take your car to be moved. Magnetize a needle. This is an uh, activity in your test book. Write that activity. Here you have to draw a glass, a cork uh, with a water or a detergent water and place a cork. On the cork, you just have to place a magnetic needle or a nail which is magnetized. You have to magnetize it in one direction and that will show you a direction of the north-south direction. With this you can just conclude that where the north is and south is with this experiment. This is an easy uh, experiment you can also do in your at your home. Sometimes people use magnets to keep the doors open and sometimes to close the doors firmly. Think and say how it is possible and how we should arrange the magnets in each case. To keep, to keep doors closed, what we have to do? One of the pole, that is south pole or the north pole uh, of a magnet fixed. Uh, the door should face south pole for the magnet. Uh, should fix to door and they attract each other. Does the earth behave as a magnet? How do you prove it? Yes, the earth behave as a magnet. Earth is a magnet. It is not a permanent magnet but an electromagnet. There is a force of attraction by which our earth attracts each object, object that there is called as gravitational force. Such as when we throw a ball, it comes back to flow due to gravitational force only. Earth attracts each object by this force of attraction. Moon revolves around the earth due to this gravitational pull. We have two similar parts, one a magnet and another a piece of iron. Can you find out which one of these is a magnet? Explain the process. Yes, we can find out. Take a piece of iron rod and bring it near the sample. If it attracts the sample, it is a magnet and the other sample iron, iron bar. Which will attract the other magnet will attract the iron piece. So we can say, okay, this is uh, which is attracting is a magnet and which is uh, attracting towards the magnet is a piece of iron. Teacher said that earth is a magnet. 
but she really has some doubts and she asks her the teacher some questions what have be the what may be the questions how can we prove that earth is a magnet how what activities can be taken up to prove the point does the earth attracts magnetic substances the earth is made up of rocks smurts then how it can, can have a magnetic property surya was wonderstruck to know the earth is a big magnet and appreciated effort of scientists to discover this do you notice any such things in magnet to appreciate explain by using magnet we know the direction of and the earth we can uh, direction of the earth that is north of the earth we can generate electricity by the phenomena of magnetic induction by using coil nowadays we are using magnetic door stampers in all the electrical appliances we are using magnet kiran wants to prepare a toy using some magnets to make people understand the slogan reject bad food and accept only good food can you help him to prepare the toy if yes how yes i can help him how prepare of toy using magnet take a plastic car fix the magnet inside the car with using tape hold the magnet on your hand and by moving your hand you can take your car to be moved in this experiment we use the phenomena that opposite poles attract each other 